Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. They're called geoships, modeled after the fabled geodesic dome made popular by Buckminster Fuller. Geoships are being designed and created as a modern solution to climate resilient, affordable housing. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Jean Marc Laflamme. I'm from uh, Geoship Domes and Regen Villages uh, up here in Canada land. And uh, Geoship Domes produces all ceramic affordable homes uh, for humanity. Uh, we just launched our first prototype, which you can see here in the back. And uh, we are raising $5 million on a platform called Start Engine to uh, bring it to mass production. Uh, the cool thing about Geoship is that it's climate proof, uh, so it's fireproof and storm proof and all the proofs and uh, deals with an all natural material that comes together like magic. And uh, it's uh, super affordable and really easy to put together. The idea seems to have legs. So far, Geoship has raised $2 million from 2,000 investors to refine the design for building geodomes using local materials in locally owned facilities. Yeah, so it's a geodesic dome. There's a couple of different models. There's a small model right, uh, right now of uh, 16 feet. It's about 200, and 200 square feet, 11 feet high. And then there's a 27 foot model which is about 800 square foot, uh, around 17 feet high. That's for a family. So, so the geoship, um, it, it's just like an earthship, um, except for the fact that it is mass produced in a community owned micro factory. And it's made with a very stable uh, substance called ceramic. Laflamme says the small geoship will sell for $30,000 for the structure. And of course, you'll still need all of the interior components. It's modular, so you can actually connect one to the other, like Lego. So you start off with a small one like this. You can end up with a big mansion if you'd like. Um, and then, uh, as I mentioned most critically, is it's made in community-owned micro factories. So you're going to own this company end-to-end. Laflamme says geodomes are perfect for the times. It's a really exciting time. I, I call it a pressure cooker scenario that we're having. It's the climate emergency mixed with the housing crisis. Um, the pandemic has caused mass decentralization. Uh, so you're going to see all these products kind of come out onto the market. It's a really, really exciting time to be alive. Laflamme lives in the Kootenays of British Columbia, one of the places Alberta youth are moving in search of affordability, health, safety, and to live closer to the land. Uh, so Geoship is kind of leading the way with a radically different model around decentralization. And I think that's the key. It's, it's really having people own the process end to end instead of that one big developer or that one big builder or that one big corporation. Um, let's all own this process and open source its evolution. Geoship's cooperative model seems to have tapped a nerve in those craving a revolution in how we do housing. You're going to own your dome. You're going to own the materials. And so end to end, any community can own their building processes in a much more decentralized fashion. Um, we're going to become a, a village, uh, what we call a village DAO. It's a decentralized autonomous organization. Geoship is a home building cooperative, but it's transitioning to a decentralized multi-stakeholder cooperative. Their vision is to create new affordable housing villages in both rural and urban locations. Geoship unveiled its first prototype in March of this year. We have photos and more at greenenergyfutures.ca. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.